Oh hey guys and girls, this is E Miller Trade Video um, on the 6th of July 2012. Um, this one's on the British Pound US Dollar. Um, yeah, another, another good trade one. Well, I'll just show you how we uh, how I set that one up. So, we've got here 8 o'clock usual kind of time for me. Again, I'm looking at the market, UK time. Um, I've marked up a line. Uh, Five, five, three, six, just as a possible area. Again, you may not have stops given the red and ten bar from previous day, which is an output move down from what I got um, most of that yesterday uh, on the fifth. So that also came from. Um, if you look at the sixty minute, it was kind of clear as well and stuff. So you'll see this uh, how it plays out. So we just um, obviously the market make activity. Got an accumulation at set up phase. So kind of waiting on some manipulation to maybe occur. Mm. See some move to the upside, and there we go. So at 9.15, 9.30, market maker activity punches above the possible highs here. So you've got some, maybe some stop taking going on. Certainly want to think about getting short um, if you get the opportunity at all. So. Uh, it does go back into accumulation and there was times to enter before the accumulation um, box act to paint. And I noticed the pad popped down resistance up here as well. Uh, I held off because I think inside there wasn't any really good jump bars down. So that's kind of why I held off from in straight away entering as it hit resistance. Um, the market could have just continued straight on up for all we know. Um, despite the resistance being there, so that's why I held up. It wasn't a wasn't a good signal at that time. Kind of carried on for most of the morning with its um, accumulation. So, which is fine. So, um, there we go. It just popped out the uh, accumulation box at uh, thirteen forty-five to fourteen hundred bar. And that's when I entered. So, um, if I remember rightly. I was in at 510. We can now get our 90 pip tool on. And we'll target our way down there. Just let it carry on. So I think we're. Uh, let's see, just carried on, sort of up underwater. There's a good jump bar down as well. So I. Uh, what I ended up doing, remember right then, jump bar down as well, so I added to the position again. So I took out another unit, so oh 04 I think. Um, stops were, initially stops were, were up here, the second one the stop was tighter. It was in about here somewhere, 24 I think. Um, so I'll uh, mark them up in green, so I'll easier. There we go, so that's what we had. Um, target was obviously 65, I think the target was. Plays on, they get another nice jump bar down through, getting close to the target, but not quite there. Um, at this point, it did start to move some of the stops down a bit. I left that one alone, moved that one down, which is reducing the risk. I'm happy it's going to go the right way, and I'll jump bar down. You can see there. That was my target. Hit, and there we go. So that was another nice few few pips for the day. Um, the euro as well. I'll just swing over on that fact. I'll just show you as well. That was. Um, you can see all my entries and stuff there. And the both positions getting closed. Um, the Euro stuff was that was a good one as well, but I didn't quite get on that. I can't remember if it was a mean or something. It certainly was good. I'd marked this up. Again, same kind of thing, possible stop take. Uh, up in the three nine seven area. Um which is kinda coming from this. This is the Euro again, so three nine seven, three nine eight, so Accumulation again, so in the setup phase, you got some market maker activity overnight. It starts to pop above here, and it's this point here. There's that one there, I just missed that. 
time is that? Yeah, 10 o'clock, I did have a meeting on. Okay, so that's probably why I didn't quite get a chance to get in on that. Um, would have been a nice entry wherever that closed. Yeah, 84, so yeah, I mean, that would have been a, certainly worthwhile having a, a pop at that, even with a 20 point, 20 point stop. I think it worked out pretty well, to be honest. Did go back into accumulation. The time I came back, that this accumulation was, was formed again, so that's why I was. Didn't want to enter while it was in accumulation. More market making activity. Popped out again, and then. Blue Shoe Wait Wait, I think that. So there you go, yep, so. It does make it. It made it. So, hopefully, you know, some of the. Uh, some of you guys got some of that one. Um, unfortunately, I didn't. Not to worry though. Um, that's about it really, so it'll be a pretty good week. Uh, I think I'm 211 points pips up this week, so. And that was really only probably in the last couple of days. Um, the previous days, Martin did a good bit of confusion now. Just kind of in and out and <laughs> break even, up a few pips, down a few pips, but most of the pips of the week. Came from, from these two days, were like 55 or 58, 49 or something, or 40, I can't remember what I got out of the um, British pound on these trades, so you can work that one out there. So. Anyway, good luck guys, and uh, all the best, and we'll catch you with you next week. Bye.